Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if Windows cannot find the MS Windows Store Purge Cache on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu, type in PowerShell. Best result should come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one, you just want to go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Give it a moment to run here. It will take a couple seconds more than likely. And now you're going to go paste in the second command here. And then once you know what that, close out of here, open up the star menu, type in WS Reset. Best match to come back with WS Reset. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. And then hopefully at that point, the Microsoft Store should be good to go. And if you're still having a problem, you can attempt to run an SFC or System File Checker Utility Scan. In order to do that, you just would open up the Start menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, go ahead and select Yes. Now, into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin running the scan. It will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so we can see it didn't find anything, which is good. So at this point, would suggest restarting your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.